wasn't loaded in yet. Why are you in it? I'm in the other game. Oh, four hit. <laughs> four hit. Four hit versus one two. Another Ayotani. Ayotani's the trending thing, I guess. Easy wins. It's safe. I don't know if it's like it's not actually that good, but it's not safe. It's comf like comfort zone. If you got a wisp player, it's not safe. What? How is that safe? How's it not safe? There's not like obvious counters to it. There's I feel. No, yeah. Not everyone is no tail on wisp. No. You don't have to be no tail on wisp to win with the strat, though. That's the point. I think it. You I just think have to be decent. Safe in that it's like yeah. There's not like a you pick these heroes and then you get instantly countered. There's there's no counters to Io Tiny. Why wouldn't? Apart from, I mean, it doesn't counter the the strategy completely. There's heroes that are good against Io Tiny, but there's no counters. Bristol back. I mean, if there was if there were counters, they'd be picking these heroes. Bristol back. One v two, you win the lane. Bristol back beats no. Io Tiny. One v two. No. What? You no, what do so? you mean no? <laughs> You get sticks. Are you sure? Then you win. 1v2? Yes. With zero help? Yeah. You win. You're crazy. You, you guys never watch how a, how a Secret play when S4, I, I saw S4 it. drafted Bristol against IO Tiny. He has help. It. Yeah, he had help. Help as in what? Stacking? Dazzle heal. Da yeah, Dazzle, Dazzle. Exactly. Dazzle rotating and help. I don't think Bristol can be IO also, Tiny, tiny 1v2. Is, 20 West is stronger now. So I, how much are you willing Players to bet? Players of equal skill. How much are you willing to bet? <laughs> I think you can. <laughs> I mean, but there's no way like to decide the winner of this bet, though. I don't know how how are we deciding who wins, though. To me, it's like Tiny just spams his combo, and then Ayo just keeps on fill refilling his mana, getting runes. And if you can control both, like prevent Ayo from getting any runes, and may maybe, but that means Ayo Tiny but lose mid if they it, don't get runes. It actually has a lot. It depends on a lot of things as well because Bristol, yeah. Bristol can steal the Ayo stack, and then Bristol. If you actually get the first few runes, like you mentioned, instead of the waste, then you can win. You can't game. contest runes though, because they can you, just chase. Your teammates have to help you secure the runes. Obviously, you, we just said no help. <laughs> no help, as in he's alone in the lane. But I didn't yeah. say no help for the rune. I think Bristol is a good hero to have one in that one v two, but he doesn't win the lane. He goes mid because if, he can if, break okay, even. Okay, maybe. if you break even or you go yeah. slightly ahead in CS, you win the lane, even if you don't kill them. Depends, tiny. What do you mean? Depend? Io Tiny don't have to win the lane to win the game, though. Like, yeah, but I'm tiny. not talking about winning the game. I'm talking about the lane. Like, I don't think he. I don't think he can win CS. Uh, he can get I think decent you can, farm, but I don't think he you can, can be more on farm. par. You can be on par. Yeah, you can I be. I don't on. think you can win. One v two, your on par is a great deal. I think you get maybe like eighty percent of Tiny what? CS. Yeah, it's a great deal, but it's you don't. It's against two heroes. You get you get even CS. That's great. It is great. Why are you stacking and doing other stuff though? Yeah, and controlling and getting runes, runes and, like and, and, other and you have to remember that Io and Tiny both have very low okay. base, very low base so armor. Quill spray is a lot of damage. Let's assume what you're saying is true. Why is no one picking Bristleback then? Yep. Because Bristleback. Because Bristleback does not win that one v two. No. It's Boom. <laughs> with Tiny is not so popular before. Like well, everyone's play. picking Io Tiny. No one's banning now, Bristle. Do you see now. a Bristle ban? I don't see a Bristle ban. It takes time before people realize that. Okay. Why don't you tweet at them? I'm saving you strats for the <laughs> i6. <laughs> Winter, we already <laughs> saw what happened when you played in TI. You uh, just played the long <laughs> con. <laughs> 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 that, that was saving strats. He, he's taking the puppy strat to the next level. I mean, why would you uh, save strats for TI3 when you can save strats for TI6? Uh, <laughs> Why would you save strats for TI6 when you can save strats for MVP Hot 6? <laughs> Time out. Bro. Yeah, that's to say, yeah. That's we're going to take a 10 minute break where we're not mean to winter. I feel like. <laughs> let's, okay. Let's. Oh, draft is on. We don't have to be serious about the draft, but we. I'll, I'll refrain, f refrain from flaming winter for 10 minutes. Refrain the flame. Refrain from framing. <laughs> Whew. First pick, Dazzle. You're in the wrong draft, buddy. What? Uh, Ten seconds yeah. yeah. Remaining. We're doing Fnatic. Oh, we we can be. Mm. We want to see Fnatic get out drafted again, but win the game. The first first pick, Dazzle, I guess, is much more versatile. It's not so bad. You can go into many different directions. Ten seconds it's remaining. So what do we know? I mean, what would normally TNC would reply with mm. Doom, Doom plus Night Stalker. Doom plus Queen of Pain. Was Doom banned in their first game? Was that yeah. even something they prioritized as first pick? I think Doom is really good now, yeah. though. Honestly. 
Gyro. Oh, I don't He's like He's amazing. Gyro is T TNC's like really one of their favorite heroes. Yep. They like to pick this hero. Gyro and they like Undying too. It's even with the nerfs. That's like some hardcore 6.84 draft though. I mean, those heroes are still good. Queen. Yeah. I, I think like Queen. I think Queen, even though she got the nerf, base, but the biggest thing is her her other lane opponents got nerf. You know, the Lash and Alina. Mushi Shadow Fiend, probably. Has to be, right? Yes. He's always fighting to play that hero. Yeah. Mushi. That's the other thing with that game one is they swapped up the roles a lot. Mushi on safe lane and off lane went on a high O. They only did that because of the IO. Yeah. But and Mushi had probably wanted to play Mirana. <laughs> Saw his opportunity to get in there. <laughs> No more. Doesn't need no more around in this game, I guess. Fnatic should pick Doom. Yeah. Does Doom beat Quap in safe lane? Offlane Doom, safe lane Quap, or yeah. are you serious? Do you even need to ask that question? I mean, I I like I think if you get a creep, if you get a Seder creep at level one, I think you, you can. Even if you get the Seder creep, Queen still probably wins the lane. What do you, you know how much damage? Do you know how much damage in Hilda Scorch Earth does though? Uh, level one and level two is the same. Level you two is bad. Level two is a little better. We'll play the matchup later. You play Doom. I play Queen of Pain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I saw your Queen of Pain the other day. That's has to be ten minutes, Ben. Come on. <laughs> you agree to it? <laughs> That's true. No. Uh. <laughs> Wait. Did I pick Queen of? I didn't play Queen of Pain when I was with you. Yeah, you did. I didn't you picked it. Do I bring up the game? Did we lose? I guess we did, right? That's why, yeah. you're, ta that's why you're talking about it. Omni Knight banned out. Talk about Omni a bit. Fnatic's actually been a team who's played quite a bit Omni. Yeah. Omni they plus Dazzle. Yeah, they like those big heal and five man push strat. SF actually pretty good for that, like five man death ball push strat. Agreed. But they have. Uh, they Right now, they have a lot of like AoE with the Queen and the Gyro. Yeah. They need maybe supports that can have stun, I guess. Hmm. Rubik. Rubik is always nice. But Doom is also nice here. It's a, I mean, it reveals all your three cores, most likely, since but I Doom guess is Doom really, can fall. Doom is really good, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're you are actually happen. trying to look for the game. I am. Are you even serious? Yeah, that was the game, I think. The Takis game. Yep. We're at 12, 3, and 7. That's a good Queen of Pain performance. You know, this game wasn't even my fault because the Spectre and the Lion was like... You should have ganged for him more. Hey, I'm on Winter's side here. I think Winter played a good game. I haven't got a gem. This Invoker owned us. He didn't beat the Invoker. I blame Winter. Remember the Lacrity guy? Yeah, but because I was helping the Spectre and helping your lanes... Oh, me and Steven mm. won our lane. You didn't have to help our lane. Yeah, but I still did make the rotation to get the kill for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enough about that. So more AoE for TNC. Disruptor, Gyro, Queen. I like Disruptor a lot as a solution to Grave. Just for what? The Stopping games? Grave TP? Like they can never get away. And also like you can disrupt it easily with the Static Storm. <laughs> like if they yeah. try and save it, you can often drop it. Yeah. Or just kinetic okay. field. I, I, it's. I remember seeing the disruptor doom combo a lot before Resign. when doom was a lot more popular. What is Mushi gonna go here? Sand oh, off lane tanking. Maybe Sand support, team but team yeah, can't really tank. Dude, why is no one picking doom? Oh, it, it actually might be more chance that it's a support because it's Earth. sort of like a reply towards the disruptor. When a team picks disruptor, there's less chance that you actually come contest the opponent's safe lane. So you can actually get away with a jungling support. Oh. Well, it's a support sanking now. Yeah, that may get a lot of space with mm. Brood. Free I don't think when I, if I've seen Chrissy play Brood much. No. Not. It's not really... I he mean, not mostly plays can't. tempo control, like Oshaker, Clock, uh, Tusk, this tree. I wonder if he's been practicing or, or for higher. Because oh yeah, a higher can play I'm Brood. I'm pretty sure he can play Brood. Uh, maybe n like not a comfort hero for him, but something he can play. That's rough. Like I don't think they can lane anyone versus the Brood. Not and they pick great. And they pick sinking. The they one brood counter. Well, they can just try and zone the brood level one with sentries and gyro. Like you can bully. Yeah, gyro Thunderstrike is, is gyro is okay. Gyro and disruptor is not bad because Thunderstrike does a lot of damage at level one. Mm. 
I think you can zone. It's tricky for the brute to actually get to but level three, level four. That's when brute starts. You to can take just over. do dazzle brute in lane, and you just get crushed if you get spider. Then brute doesn't get XP though. You really need the solo I XP. I think if you do that, the dazzle rotates with the TP later once the brute yeah, has yeah. the experience. You have to wait for the spiderling army to build up before yeah. the dazzle come. It's hiding trees, bro. I think it's a good pick though, because Earthshaker is a really bad support against brute. It's only good at the early phase, right? If you kill him like a level one or level two once yeah. with the fissure. But after that, you don't do much against yeah. the brute. And that's where maybe TNC put Earthshaker off lane now if they want to. Oh yeah, I think I think I like that idea. I think like whenever I I see a team pick Earthshaker and then brute comes, I'm like just put Earthshaker off lane. But we'll see. I think disruptor gyro are strong enough. If it is a support Earthshaker, they can still make it work, and it will help them win mid lane against SF with Quop Earthshaker rotations. Get that bounty hunter. Bring it back. Mm. It's not a bad pick as well. Can chase Sanking around if yeah. he's trying to jungle. Not bad. Mess with SF with quad mid. Yeah, not bad. Do it TNC. Who else is good? There's not that many supports yeah. that a good versus Brood is a big problem. Uh, yeah. only I think only Spirit Breaker. AA. You get AA Chilling Touch and also Ice Blast good against Dazzle. Huh. Axe is also pretty good here if they can fit yeah. it. But Whoa. let's go for draw. Three. They're going to do... Solar mid draw. Solar mid draw. Off lane off, off yeah. the pressure because you have Sand King jungling. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be, I think, Queen of Pain plus Shaker off lane. Draw mid. Yeah. Disrupt and the gyro safe lane. And so far, it's a pretty good game for Queen of Pain because only the Sand King stun is locked down. Yeah. So That's Fnatic point. probably want another Disable with their fifth pick. but It's a safe laner with Disable. No, I don't know. Not much. Like not much. Please not safe lane left rack. Storm? Storm? Storm is, is okay. tough versus Disruptor and Shaker yeah. and Drow. No. Ember would have been really good though. Yeah. Yeah, that that's kind of locked down. That's locked good down against Quap. And you can actually use the Ember to help the Brute. Yep. What does Black normally play? Slack? Invoker. Invoker? Yeah. He can, but... Mm, Invoker. He's more likely to play with... Invoker can beat Quap 101 safe lane? I think so. Yeah, you can. Exalt Invoker can. You have the fought spirits to always help you, and especially if you off lane and you don't get if the queen doesn't get the runes, it's but very difficult. But what if queen has draw aura? Uh, I think as soon as you get uh higher more points in your exhort, your fought spirit actually deals more damage. You should be fine. And alchemist fifth pick. Kind well, of a greedy pick. But they, they cannot actually afford to do that because Brute is going to make a lot of space. But then again, I'm worried. the thing I'm worried about is because they are going to do Queen and... Earth if they do Queen and Earthshaker offlane, yeah. they are going to pressure the, the Alchemist a lot. Alchemist yeah. with... Maybe the Sand King is going to try and help the lane first before trying to be too greedy. Then the, definitely the, needs the Alchemist... You make sure the Alchemist is fine in the lane, then you start jungling. There's no good Axe upgrades. I mean, Sand King and Dazzle both have one, but neither is that amazing. What do you mean? Shadowfiend and Brute can get Axe. You get stats. the stats. <laughs> Mushi's going to be like, I need stats, bro. Forget about the Dazzle and Sanking. Sanking, Sanking Aghanims is actually quite it's underwhelming, right? Isn't it underwhelming? It adds like, what, extra one pulse or it's two pulse? I think it's, it's like, crap. I think Let's it's see. decent. Oh, I think uh, Veil adds Veil more is damage actually more damage. Yeah, yes. Veil is more damage. Veil is more damage. Than I remember at the cheaper map. price, it's more damage. I remember the map someone did. Where is Sanking? That's why you get both. <laughs> Scepter pulses, 8, 10, 12. It goes two extra pulses and cooldown decrease from 100 to 80 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. 20 second decrease in cooldown, two extra pulses. It's not worth buying on Sanking, I think, uh, like yourself ever. But if you can get an Axe pull, well, maybe you may as well. It's just most likely he's doing the, the other build. Yeah. Can you go to the Brute? How many sentries does the Brute have? Well, Zero. he actually didn't get any sentries. Uh, he's got some on Korea. Well, there are some on Korea. Whether they will go to Dazzle or not, we'll find out. He's going to scout or look to scout out the Earthshake Award. He must have TP'd up here for this. Yeah, Ned always TPs to the lane to play yep. spot most of the time. So let's see. Looking at their items, it's going to be a gyro. Gyro's mid items. Is he? Mm -hmm. Looks like they want Drow safe So lane. Drow's. Then it's Drow versus Brood. Isn't that worse? It's terrible. Mm. He, he also has Wraith Ban, but four tangos, so... Compared to Gyro versus yeah. Brood? The gyro is much what better. What do they aggro try? Queen. So, uh, you're talking about Queen, Shaker, and Disruptor. No, Drow. 
Oh, withdraw, and then you put the queen 1v1. Queen loses good. that lane, but it's like, okay. And queen is sentry, so I nah, think they queen do... queen is off lane for sure. Look at no, his. queen's safe yeah. lane. Uh, what? This is safe lane queen. Queen's going versus brood. Queen 1v1. Oh, okay. looks like queen. I mean, I think queen loses that lane, but it's not awful. Like, it's you can still get some farm, and then you just need oh. help later oh. on. Oh, the fissure. They importantly prevent them. out getting the rune, who didn't skill anything yet, so we can at least get acid or stun. This is how you should always play it. Do you don't skill it until you are certain hundred percent you're getting yeah. the rune. And then Do you think this is how TNC should play it too? Just Yeah, you throw cannot, you cannot let it's the same thing. I, I talk about pressuring with the queen, but they are doing it with the what the gyro? No. And on with the draw, it's drown. the same thing. You have to pressure the alchemist. Jaru does not match up well against his Seth. Only. No, you can max doesn't. homing missiles, but even then, you still bad match You still up. lose the lane. It's not that bad, you, is you, it? Even if you mm. max homing missile, you're going to lose the lane. Why don't, why don't you just go standard build? What's wrong with the standard build? I don't think you lose the lane that badly with a standard build if you can get Just max rocket barrage? Are you sure? You get out. SF is going to out-CSU. You can't out farm. You. Yeah, SF, you, can't farm. You, you can't last hit against SF once he gets like... Eight, eight souls or something. Like, he just does so much more right click damage. But as I think as Gyro as is better one through four. I think as soon as SF gets level two Necro Mastery and he gets damage, you, yeah. you can't last him. Really. And he's got help as well. Like, this is. I think Tiki's gonna get owned, especially because of the Dazzle. He has Drow Aura. That's actually a good point. The Drow Aura helps him a little bit, make up for, I think, the, I, what, what probably is a bad matchup. But it is a bad matchup. Yeah. It's a, He's brought out more tangos. He's gonna get her. Like he doesn't have great sustain as well. He's yeah. Has to buy a lot remember of regen. At TI, this happened uh, when IG was playing yeah. secret. He Ferrari got was gyro versus SF. He, he was like twice more CS than him. He got owned so hard. They he win the game, but without draw. Aura. Yeah, that was without draw. Aura. But if, oh, even if first we blood draw coming, Aura, how much it changes? They knew Ohio didn't have uh, the weave or the the shallow, shallow grave or the heal. See that? Tango through. Damn, Gyro got the first blood. Okay, he won mid. Nah, even with first blood gold. He's got 3 CS to the 8 CS of Mushi. Still going to be a hard lane for him. I like the rotation from Disruptor, though. Coming in knowing that Dazzle is only level 1 with Poison Touch and has no defensive capabilities. Mm. Now the Sand King can't really focus on jungling because the lane's under pressure. No. He wants to get his level 3 first. Yeah, I like the decision from TNC in this early game. They're putting a lot of pressure, I think, on both ends. I think <coughs> SF can die with a good pressure. I, I actually think the laning phase, uh, they could have done much better if the Queen top, draw mid, and gyro bottom. Yeah. Mm. SF and Brood are both doing... I feel like this start for Fnatic is fine, because SF and Brood are both winning their lanes. I think extent. it's about the same, because if you... I mean, Gyro's getting crushed. 5 CS to 13, and it only gets worse as SF gets levels in farm. Because mm. SF... Is only now building and up Brood his souls. Brood is going to win the lane yep. like sooner or later. This lane is not going to be good for the. Queen. I feel like it's the same with the SF. Sooner or later, just yeah. These two lanes will get over. crushed. TNC needs to rely on crushing top and then make rotations with the yep. Shaker. They can save mid if Shaker gets some good ganks. But is he maxing? No. no Normal build, like you mentioned. <gasps> Why isn't he running? A rocket. Jared had no boots. Either. No, he could have. Oh, oh, oh. He could just ran. He could have ran after the rocket. I thought. Yeah. I don't know. You guys are haters. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. I don't think that should happen though. He just let the missile hit him, and then after the missile didn't run away. No, he could have ran after the missile. Yeah. Like, what's that was weird. I don't know. He had that feeling. Level one missile stun durations. Uh, you don't actually need a max missile because the stun duration at level one is enough to get close to the rocket barrage. What is going I'm on? I'm surprised he doesn't have boots with the on first blood. Gyro, gyro yeah. yeah. He went bottle instead, I guess, and had Wraith Ban start, but now he's got he's got ten CS. He's it still feels like he's losing this lane. And in some ways he kind of is. So co-op level five, no no poison build. The and this is the build you go if you want yeah. me one a brute and you need a lot you need to keep getting runes to be able to stay in the lane. Brood doesn't really go for runes. He should be maybe sending a single uh, spider link to deny. I think that was actually very important. The brood, if you deny the rune, you yeah. win the lane so hard yep. after that. Just send the single spider link every two minutes. And then unless Queen of Pain goes there early to kill that spider link, you should be able to get the yeah, If he goes there early, then it's fine. Wow. Because he has to use so much time to actually you know, go to the rune early. Okay. So he's sacrificing. Well, he's winter. doing a good job though. Quop is just winning bottom lane. Jaro is winning mid. What's going on, Winter? Well, what do you mean he's winning? He just killed a bunch of spiderlings. He forced Brute to TP back to home. Check the net worth. I think it's still similar. Still similar. Or Brute is more. Equal. Yeah. No. 
Cop's not winning. <laughs> it's equal. And mid is equal, to, uh, more or less equal. Yeah, now when Brute comes back to the lane, he should be able to. I still think but he Cop should be. Cop is. Uh, Sonic Wave. If Cop gets 6 minute rune, Cop will be fine. Mid lane, they've gone in with Vizia. Just there, and Ohio. Thunderstrike is going to outlast the grave, but he heals up and he's still there, survives. He? No, he's level 1 Thunderstrike. Did you not throw a rocket on him? No. Uh, mana, maybe? No, he had mana. Fissure. Fissure. One, two, chase? three, four, five. Ohio needs to juke this. Oh, he's not chasing. Damn. He didn't didn't have confidence. Didn't believe. Is that stacked? Call oh, down. I hear call down. Vision, nice vision. Mushi will m avoid the second call down. That would have been his death. And now the pullback in could turn and fight. That just set up the raises. Oh, that oh. glimpse killed off old gyrocopter. And net will scurry away on 20 HP. Oh, now he has his level light. three jungle. Time to jungle. This is the third time this game I think I've seen a higher TP mid to refill Mushi's bottle. <laughs> That's how you treat your girlfriend. What? You take care of them. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you trying to say about a higher Mushi here, Winter? <laughs> <laughs> they treat them as well as they treat their girlfriend. Is that fair? I don't know. Right. Yeah, Mushi's so far ahead in the mid lane. Yeah, and that's We've with Gyro, Gyro got first blood, and then he solo killed SF, and he's losing the lane, or he's behind. He's not losing the lane. He's yeah, he's with Jar Aura, are you happy, Ben Lini? Right. Well, it's not a good Gyro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, play. I I think it's just an awful matchup for Gyro. And there's not many good Gyro matchups made. Me melee heroes, I guess, is where you can do well. Maybe you could risk like a puck. Even puck, I feel, is bad. Oh, he's gonna find yeah, the last by the links. They should have oh, been able to pressure a lot more. I think they're safer. Dazzle wasn't constantly there the whole time. That's good Sonic Wave use, for the first one. It's worth it. Yep. Especially when you're killing a hero like Brute. Oh, yeah. It removes his and momentum on the game a lot. Helps the supports too, get a bit of gold, get a bit of XP, which they've been lacking. I mean, neither will Earthshaker with boots, nothing on Disruptor. Roshiga's got boots and bottle, damn. He's rich. They don't really have that good vision in the mid lane for Radiance. I, they like really need Shaker, I think, to come in and pressure, and they also need to dodge a sanking game. So, but Fnatic has two wards in there. Just, they just completely cover that, that vision. So they control both top and mid lane wow. because of the sanking. He, wants, he wanted to take that last hit. He, yeah. he gets more gold. I think they need to, like you mentioned, pull vision for to scout the sanking yeah. soon. Yeah, but they, they have no idea where he is. But the thing is, like you you want to do that when you have Sonic Wave on Queen, right? So you make a smoke movement, you take a ward on the support, then you run in. Now, when you don't have Sonic Wave, you're less confident to do that. I guess you can bring the gyro. I mean, it's still fine to just at least see him coming so you don't die. You Like, Drow offlane, it's, it's okay. They kept the shape, they yeah. kept the Alchemist down a little bit, but yeah. now he's he's like oh, gonna be a thousand. Yeah, I think some, somehow oh. you need to help him. They gank the brute and then suddenly Drow's yeah. alone, and Fnatic just make that call. Hey, both supports are bottom. Go kill that Drow. Or they have no vision on the top side of the map, and we're just gonna yeah. completely well, take advantage of that. And the other thing is, Fnatic have a deep ward behind the top tier one tower, so Drow can't even hide at the tower without. Like they know the exact timing where they to to go up river and initiate with that gank. Mushi doing just fine, top of the net worth, and now has stacks to fall back to, so he'll get a good time on mech. Bottom line, Queen of Pain. Yeah, it's really rough. I think, like, they missed the Dazzle kill, too. Like, so many things went wrong for those two supports. Yeah. Like, in and how about the Brute Mother's item, though, this game? Do you think it should go... Do you think it's a good Orchid game? I, I feel like Orchid could be a, the build this game. Because uh, you want to be able to kill the Queen repeatedly. Yeah. Why the I mean, queen. they have Sanking. I think Sanking can do enough damage. I mean, as long as Queen's not ridiculously farming. I don't think Brute's... I don't think the Brute Orchid's a bad idea, but I don't... So I don't think he's going to farm at a good time. Yeah. Especially with this yeah. So what, what do you go? Like, you go Midas? Then you Fighting go SM, SMY, BKB? Midas, SMY, BKB, Vlad's even. Face boots, SMY. I think Vlad's is good. He yeah. has a belt. Yeah. Treads. Treads. Isn't Treads bad, like the guy mentioned? I mean, it's good if you're getting inked a lot. <laughs> oh. That's the Thunderstrike. Oh, free stand back. I yeah. think he wanted to get some. Yeah. Still under a sentry, but he'll be able to get his pathing back in a second. There we go. He may actually go in on this Drow. Drow needs to be, it does have sentries. So I mean, Drow can't can't lane anymore. That's, a, that's yeah. a huge problem. There's no far mid. When, well, did, when did Gyro die? SF solo kill? Maybe with the sentry with an Invis or something? I don't know. Oh, it was Invis. 
I don't. I'm not sure. Oh, he didn't use his ulti. Had it been just triple raises. But regardless, it's it's really bad for TNC. We're gonna see another like super underfarmed drow. Gyro lost his lane after getting like probably the best start that you can hope for. It's interesting. Chrissy buys. He had three sentries on him just now, and he didn't have any at the start. But he's now prioritizing the sentries more to take back control of this bottom lane. All they need to he's do is just going, buy time for he's Elk. He's going Medallion so they can do Roche okay. with the Alchemist and the SF. After well. the Medallion, then probably he can go for his items. Does he really need items in this game? Though? Mm, they don't no. even. They don't even like. He could actually just get like wards and like Vlad's. Vlad's, and, Vlad's and Medallion, Solar Crest, Vlad's and Solar Crest. Yeah, and they could just win the game like. Then you go BKB. Yeah. Oh, there's the initiation. They've got dust. Net gets out of the cooldown though. Without the cooldown. Uh, can they get the glimpse off? No. Like level three. Tiki thinks about blink scream. Run when I click. Actually, there we go. That, that'll do it. That draw aura. Draw. I mean, draw hits hard. I was about to say, like, how did Quop finish off that kill with one right click? And oh. this max draw aura, a high oak won't even get a grave chance. Quop's starting to snowball. Even before those couple of kills, Quop was in a really good position. A lot of levels. The kills on brood. What is draw high? This is giving so much damage. Wraith bands. Yeah, double wraith. And Radiant no, just level one on ulti. Oh, so he has silence this time around. Yeah, learned his lesson. Is it the same drow player? Yeah, even? the same guy. Not against a clockwork, but good against Sanking. Not and good against Dazzle as well if you can get a jump, prevent a grave. Oh wait, Alchemist has a siege. He's going radiance. It's casual, just for mana regen, because he oh. doesn't go bottle. Oh. He needs mana okay. regen without bottle. But don't I you think. just get the soaring if you want? Save money. I don't know. You could. Yeah. Wow, his intelligence is actually really high. Oh, really high. Intreds, yeah. yeah. I mean, even without intreds, it's still really high. It's the intreds sage. Like you get more mana pool from this, and uh, they, I don't know. It, it seems to work. Okay. He hasn't had mana problems from what I've seen. It's a pretty cool build, especially if you're just farming. I think Soul Reaper is better. Though. He right. didn't have any oh, yeah. points in stun. Like when the Sanking came to gank, if they needed the stun to secure the kill on Drow, it could have been an issue. Not even getting like the single value point. He has the money. For the relic? I assume. Yeah. I mean, he's, no one's going to contest this farm. It's not they, have, they have so many wards up there for him. That missile has been leveled up, level 3. Got him. I like the leveling of this missile up because they're going to look to apply pressure and really. Take the game to Fnatic. I think they need to be doing that. So. Oh, this is a really good position for TNC. Okay. The Queen has level 2 Sonic. Oh my god, this is... Ahayu's just dead if you Sonic wave. Oh, okay. It was a bit late, but it doesn't matter. Net now low as well. Blink Scream not available as Quop is out of mana. And there's an issue of bottom lane. Spider, Urshika. spider issue. Yeah. Urshika was hoping Quop, the, the spider stays for that Echo Slam. but I, I think it's really good for, for Fnatic. 3v5 in the mid lane. Just to dazzle for a sonic wave. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. And they don't lose a tower. Yeah, I was actually thinking that they would have been able to get at least two kills with the positioning they have. Fissure yep. on two. Space so for Brood and Alchemist too, so. More Radiance is mm. coming. They can kind of Roche whenever as well with SF having well, they, they mech and all that. They Medallion. just need a blink on net. He's wasting a lot of time running around. Yeah, because he feels like he doesn't have the team doesn't have space, you know. He wants to make some space instead of focusing on his own. Yeah, farm. yeah but you can just sacrifice the tower. It's not like TNC is going to have that much map control unless Queen goes orchid. Uh, they're trying to help the brute pressure here. And net. She is going did, did they, they saw him. Yeah, they're pinging this out, but he's still going to look to go in and fire he's strike. Dead. He's dead. Yeah, that was not the fire strike he was hoping for. Melee range. Net going to go down. That's one kill. SF just bailing. I mean, can you even kill Quap? You catch her. I don't uh, if, if the SF is near, you stun and Requiem and one race, yeah. you can. He one wasn't that close though. She had yeah, the SF like stopped. He didn't move forward. He didn't follow the, the sand cave. I, I don't think it was, the, it was, he was way too yeah, aggressive. He, he didn't want to go, to go near yeah. there. Yeah. No, but that was, the, that was the only way they killed the queen. Which the they don't need to. That's the thing. They can just farm the blink dagger and then the, they can just epi and kill her. Yeah. And he had 1700 gold. If he's just farming up the farming up a blink dagger, it feels like much better. I mean, it looks like they were looking for a stack to be fair. Yeah. They could have gone for Roshan as well with, with that move. So that Roshan would have helped Sanken get to yeah. blink up. Vlad's and Medallion. Yeah. I think it's a good build. Vlad's Medallion and then you go yeah. back for the SMY BKB. BKB. It's a good safe build. Like they, they don't need him to do anything ridiculous to win this game. Yeah. 
It's like you a very want to good defensive build. And it ensures he has good mid-game fighting potential. If you go for like a Necro... The Necro build just doesn't exist anymore, but... Necro build is weak, though. I yeah. Think. It's very weak. But even the Orchid build can somewhat fall off if the item gets quickly countered. Like, Quop goes for a BKB, and this is a very farm Quop, so we could see a fast BKB come out. It's all on the blink on Saiyan King. Which is not being prioritized. Stacking Ancients, hovering around mid, net really... Giving the farm to Black, I guess because he doesn't have Radiance, they want to... Yeah, but once you get your Blink Dagger, all you need to do is defend one push with Epi, kill two yeah. or three heroes, and that, that like stops them for like five to ten oh, yeah. minutes. It's really bad for them. I don't uh, I don't like what they're doing where they're prioritizing Alchemist and having Sand King try and be the one... They, well, I mean, they don't even need to prioritize space. Alchemist. They can sh sacrifice Shadow Fiend's farm. I think for yeah. the Blink Dagger is even like more important than yeah. what's going on at this particular point in time. They will finish off Roche, and it looks like Brew just soloing Roche, which is a nice little sneaky play you can do. It's still the most farm going the way of Fnatic as far as their cores go. SF especially is looking pretty good. Not a huge difference between the two teams. They're smoking again with before his Blink Dagger. Ooh. It's a weird time to... I guess they're going to grab Aegis, and then they'll join up with Brood Bottom. Net will run right into Quop. This time Requiem is there. Nope, Silence immediately. Lucky in the perfect position. And Mushi's done for. The mech will not save him, but he gets the return kill on Quop, so... Quop maybe should have backed off a little bit. Does Sanking have the goal for the blink now? On that kill? Uh, uh, no. Soon. And they finished off Roche, so Brood... Do you with like 4 two, zero, 1 build? I mean, it helped him skip the call down that Because he was running to um, gang a lot, that's why he, he ran for this I mean, game. I even think that a 3-3-0 build is better. Or, uh, like a 3-4-0 yeah. and uh, not getting ult. I don't think you need ult before Blink Dagger. Yeah. Even 4-3 is okay. I don't think it's a big deal, though. Mm. Like, I mean, he's not, you're farming you, you see, he, he's not gonna get his... He's gonna get his blink now, and yeah. he doesn't have any more skill points. And when you get your blink, you want to have ult. I mean, he'll just, he'll hit level 8 very soon. He may actually get level 8. Yeah, yeah, it's actually not much of a big difference. I mean, I think it I slowed think it down is. his blink by a couple of minutes, yeah. not having that. I think even having 4-3-0 four three, four three is it's better. it's the way he's playing, though. He's mainly focusing on helping his team. That's why he wanted to just max the Barrow Strike. Yeah, but you can help your team you by can getting max, blink. You can max Barrow Strike and skip Epi. He hasn't oh, used Epi Oh, center. you mean skip Epi. Oh, oh, well, yeah. he, w he was saying going 3-4, but I'm saying you could go 4-3. Like 4-3-0 at level 7. Yeah, I think so, too. I think it would, without a doubt, be better. I mean, it's easier to say now. But it's hard to say, though. Sometimes you re you're just worried that you, you might have that particular situation where yeah. you want to have that epi. It's, I think it's generally only when you have like a, a follow-up stun though. Like epi doesn't help against Quop. You, can, you can't you can gank a Quop with Barrow Strike Epi because yeah. you'll always blink away at from the epi. Yeah, I know. I understand. But you can always... You know there's going to be situations where you can hide in the trees, you cast epi first and then you borrow out. I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel true. there's always going to be like that one situation you want to have the epi. That's true. But at the same time, I think it... Like you're... Flexibility is up so much when you have a blink dagger and prioritizing yeah, I know. that. I, I actually wouldn't do that as well, but I'm just saying yeah, because I know Nat, he, Nat is very particular in all these situations. Yeah, like Quelling Blade, you can hide in trees. I'd say it's decent. Which was in deep. Has a blink mech and feeling confident down bottom. I think blink is good on the SF this game because he wants to follow up the Sanky. Yeah. So you get blink. Needs to be careful here. Blink's back. Limps is oh, just him? out of oh, range. Oh, Has him. vision. Quop. Quop. Scout it. Oh, that was a good TP. That was a darn good TP. Yeah. And, and Co-op could have blinked to a better spot to scatter, but you just he don't didn't know. expect yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's completely unexpected. Not not by any means a misplay. Well, top three net worth here is all on the dire side, but their supports have suffered as a result. Whereas Earthshaker, 4k gold, he's about to pick up a blink, so... One of the TNC supports. He's rich though. He has bottle and arcane boots and he had upgraded boots wand. and bottle. At like at an upgraded one. At like three or four minutes in, he had boots and bottle. I'm just I had no idea where he got the farm. He didn't Blind even have CS. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the dream. <laughs> His age is so. Oh, he's going in. Echo that. I would totally echo that. <laughs> Not up to the gust. They split them up too much. Get that's his blink. blink right there. Greedy. Yeah. Yo, that's his blink. Greedy band. You never use Echo that much early on. Yeah, level one Echo's like whatever. Then, then you get it's farming. The, okay, tool. you you farm the <laughs> you farm the spiders. Then you get your blink, but you don't have Echo. So oh. then you can just fit your blink in, or and you can just hide in the back without really being scared. I mean, Net was at like seventeen fifty gold, and it took him another five minutes. I think he's just like, okay, boom, I got it. Yeah. It's worth using a Echo. So drow. You are the you are oh. the earth shaker that will clear a stack with Echo. Of course I would. 
You've right never done that before? No. Really? You're I, w- out, I, I just buy walls and run around and drop Frisia. I stack for my team, not myself. Yeah. I just use level 1 Echo to like solo kill supports and stuff. I use it to kill stacks. Yeah. That people stack, stack for me. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're a supporter, just, <laughs> just look at Are you our, sure they're stacking look for at you? our profiles. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> but say, did you ask them afterwards, like, did you guys stack this for me? Or no. Did you just assume? I just assume. It's like my blink okay. supporter. They're like, okay. <laughs> Rob, you can tell How me. How many Rob. reports have you got from the that? difference? Quick <laughs> uh, wins uh, games. Whoa, Alchemist actually gets taken out by Pop solo kill from the Orchid. And Mushi now, meanwhile, gets caught up by a homing missile and Tihi oh, with a lot of follow-up damage. That's the one problem with the blink build. If you ever do get caught, that BKB not being up means TNC suddenly get three key kills. They got four. They killed the Dazzle as well. That is problematic. They'll go for the tier one tower. They've hit this timing now where Drow has really... This is where Drow peaks, I feel. 20 minutes in, you've got Treads, Mask of Madness, SMY, and you're strong. Echo! He should echo that. Should echo that. Even just for an Aegis. Save himself. Yeah. Save yourself and you burn. I guess Aegis is going to expire anyways, but you're dead for like a minute anyway. So update in the other game, we have Forehead, for hate. Okay, that's a coin. His name is Forehead. Forehead with, with Radiance. Yeah. His net worth is like absolutely insane. He's just destroying people with us. Oh, and they've got Venom too. That's... Yeah. Veno with Alk is dirty. Veno are actually just bought an His axe. Own. That's yeah. dubious. So that game is pretty much, this is pretty much split 1-1 with its super, super farmed alchemist. Like, ridiculously farmed. Like, Both um, games. Yeah. This game could go 1-1. One, one. Uh, TNC's... What? What's going on? This is even right now, and TNC actually playing a lot better now compared to what we saw last game. I think they're actually executing. It's because the Queen of Pain is doing, like, yeah. she's playing oh. really, really well. No. The team as a whole seemed to be, like, even when the Drow's farming, like, the Drow always has backup. Like, when she was farming the Ancient Gyro was here backing her up. The Earthshake is in position for a Fissure. Oh! There's no more not, Aegis. I think it's gone. Not this time. Not this time. No BKB? Time. Where? No. Dust. Oh. Gem. Sentry. Shake, you're playing too greedy. What is this? Drop your wand. You should have echoed the Spiderlings. <laughs> you could have afforded a gem if he'd echoed the Spiderlings. He's 200 gold short. And See the difference, Winter? What? <laughs> He wouldn't have had Echo to go for the kill now. <laughs> uh, I'm not sold, you know. I think no, you could have just killed him without Echo if you had a gem. Maybe. With the backup. Possible. Yeah. But yeah, Quop's BKB now up, so... It feels like Mushi... Uh, the other reason I feel that TNC is in a good position because of like... Fnatic did two smoke kinks they in a row, which both made a lot of mistakes, did not work. Though. They made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. They gave away a lot of unnecessary Like kills. the kill here that Sanking went for. Yeah. The, the Dazzle as well, he, he got caught too many, yeah. too many times out of position. And Mushu, there was like one or two times that he didn't need to die. Yeah. They gave away a lot of kills. Uh oh, he has gem now. On Shaker? Yeah. Yeah. Not this nope. time? Oh yeah, there we go. He's not holding it himself. Maybe... Queen. Bob? Queen. Yeah. yeah, give it to Queen. Oh, another kill. Ayo, please. I guess that's it. That's actually oh. not worth it, but... I mean, it's, it's like 50-50. They, I feel like they're strong enough that even with Sonic Wave on cooldown, they can still... It means they have to commit more heroes to take a fight. They can't fight with just, like, Queen plus one. Oh, Nets in so much trouble. Another homing missile coming. Oh, who's in trouble? 50 HP. Net almost in trouble. If he recasts a second homing missile... Oh, he did! He's, he's, he's the second one! He did recast it. Barrow strike! Barrow strike! <laughs> you got the double homing missile cast. That's the scariest thing when there's a homing missile already chasing you and you see him cast a second one, you're just like... So is this the game that they get a four stuff on the gyro? No. no. Disruptor can. Earthshaker will. Your supports do. You only get it if you're a support. Yeah. Gyro. Gyro will go BKB, probably. You, you give me that look when you say support. What? What do you mean? Carry players. <laughs> I support Wait, and you're a support? I've seen your alchemist not pulling axe after. That's not support. <laughs> alchemist is not a support. Well, you're, I thought you were saying you're you're a good support. Alchemist not can be alchemist. a support. I don't All think right. you know how to support. So Black only now hits his Manta radius. We haven't even talked about alchemist this game, but it's because he doesn't. He hasn't been 
farming is just being shut down. I, mean, I, think, I think if you go this build, you just go BOTs. Why, why would you yeah. go Treads if you're committing to a super heavy split pushing farming? It was build? for the laning stage. He may. S I, I think you can go back for them now. You get with the yeah, solar pickoff. That's true. BKB worth the kill there. Space I mean, it, I think if you need the int though, you just go for soul ring instead of a sage mask with yeah. power dreads, and that's much cheaper. Dreads is HP as well though for like surviving ganks. I don't know. Dreads is also good for for you to play aggressive the attack yeah. speed. He's and not the damage. playing aggressive. He had no points in stun. <laughs> now he, he had, now he has. He went four zero four. But I feel like at this point in the game, <laughs> until the end of the game, you're gonna regret yeah. not getting bots. I, I think it was just good for me. It's good enough for the lane stage, and now he could sell it and get bots if that's. If you, if, I mean, I kind of agree. The bots is really good with the Radiance and Manta build. Oh, they're going to find Black. No Rage up. He was using that to farm, and that's an yeah, easy pick off. I mean, it's not like the Strange saves you from that situation, right? It's like... At I, this stage, there's no... Treads in the lane stage will save you, though, because that's when there isn't huge burst damage. But they were so occupied on the mid lane that... One down. Maybe two. Sam H got low, and... That's a Sonic Wave. Not will good. not... Uh, what? Oh. Not a good blink. He blinked into the Roche pit. And he, he lost gem. He no, he, that was after... It was like one more second. Oh, one more second. Yeah. He blinked into the Roche pit. Okay, they lost. That's where the SF blink really pays off because you get the insta fall up on the bar strike and they can't BKB in time. I mean, they lost gem. it right before Roche. They, they lost a gem. gem. They're losing Aegis. And they got the out, but that was it's not worth it. That was a huge play. Yeah, that was really big. That was actually... That was pretty clutch. Before that, I would say Fnatic were in quite a bit of trouble. Or a lot was going to come down to the next Roche fight, which I guess was what that was. That was TNC trying to go for a smoke gank to secure them. I mean, once Roche. once they get BKBs on their heroes, there's not really that much they can do about it. Neither Gyro nor Drow's farmed enough. Or Queen of Pain, for that matter, to deal with their BKBs. Still playing the peanut gallery. We've seen a lot of alpha. Yeah. yeah, and Io Tiny. Yeah. It's been... Uh, so the, uh, to me, the two big trends are Io Tiny and Alchemist almost so far. Doom, nice stuff though. Doom? Why Doom wasn't that? even picked all bad in this game, wasn't it? Wasn't Doom ignored? Yeah, he was ignored. Yeah, I don't think Doom's been it. Night Soaker, maybe more so. I don't think Doom really. Alk's been more like fourth and fifth pick too. It hasn't been first pick Alk. Wow, Shadow I Demon plus Alchemist in this other game. Wow. It's brutal. More Alk illusions. Yeah. ST's pretty good against Iotani. Uh, I like ST against Iotani, though. I didn't like it with the Iotani when Fnatic drafted it. BKB Gyro, so TNC signed to get... They've got triple BKBs going now, which is essential against the Sand King. Shadow Fiend. So this is their power spike. They have three BKBs. But they've just lost, lost Roshan. Yeah, this is the result of the last engage. Yeah. I mean, once uh, you see that many BKBs, you can just outform them. You split push with Brood, you... I was kind of push with Alchemist. But even. why <laughs> did they give the Aegis to the Brood? Because it's not good on Alchemist. No, SF. Could be SF, uh, yeah. Oh, I guess. He doesn't have slot. Brood is... Root is quite farm now. Does a lot of damage. BKB Deso. Nice save. You build. drop the medallion, I guess. For Deso. So ring. So ring. You don't yeah. need the show ring now. You have two sage masks already. That's true. No problem. <laughs> Solar Crest will come in handy too against the Jaro as well, having some evasion. Jaro as well. If Jaro can get up some DPS, which will be coming most likely next after the BKB. <laughs> Do you guys think it'll just be like a farming Aegis then? Not really, they're not going to necessarily try and fight they're with not it. In they a they rush, have better late game. Yeah, they're not in a rush. They have Alchemist SS. Yeah. It's more on TNC to make a move yeah. with their heroes. Well, Corp's going DPS now with AC. Drow's, fa Drow's falling off really quickly at this yeah. point in the game. It's going back. Oh, he actually went BKB, not SMY, but going back for, I guess, a complete SMY. Because why not? I don't know. You don't really need a Manta. Manta's not going to do much against those heroes. Yeah, you have to get BKB for Sand King. Yeah, and I think he realized no, he wasn't... They can take this fight. They can take this fight. Not if Sand King gets a good ulti. Oh my... He's going to see these TPs. Chase? Now Drow... Doesn't want to TP yet, and SK is going to go fishing. Does he go for the blind stun? No. That was risky. 
That shit gets still nearby too. It's they a bad really precedent though when Fnatic's looking to engage like that. Yeah. It just means they do have Aegis, but yeah, but Aegis it's rude. They're yeah. willing to take a four v five fight yeah. without the Aegis, and and Brood had TNC's no TP. <laughs> supposed to be really strong because they just hit their BKBs, yeah. so they're feeling threatened for pretty much the rest of the game at this point. They don't skill well. Yeah. Losing that gem was just wow. Loose. They had vision. Oops. Got uh, BKB cancelled, and this missile will hit if that BKB wears off. Okay, he goes in, tanks it. Vision not going to land as well. DJ, nice bit of play there. I think they need another gem. You still have Aegis. Yeah, nothing to worry. They have still got really bad lockdown to deal with. The green is one of the big problems here. T he blink initiate on, gets the BKB off after the requiem damage, and with that, two heroes dead on the TNC side. Raven on the run may get stunned up by the alchemist here. He is still chasing. Not sure he gets his solo kill. In fact, will stun himself up underneath the tower. Can you Manta dodge your own stun? Why not? You should, you should be able to. It's yeah, point it one second of invulnerability. You should be. If you're yeah, invulnerable, you, you can't get stunned. So. You should be able to do it. I, I just never seen yeah. anyone do it. I think I just. Yeah. That'd be cool. I would say you should be able to. And Fnatic actually on the high ground now. With Brood rotating in, Deso as well, so they're going to push pretty damn fast. And They're just forcing BKBs to be used so inefficiently. Like, Gyro gets jumped and he BKBs in a position where he's going to die regardless. And It actually doesn't feel like Alchemist had any impact on this game. No, no, but he's putting a lot of pressure on the opponent's side to do something. I mean, I feel like that's. Farming. I don't really that feel like that's like the alchemist, though. I feel like that's like a part of having a draw lineup. You have to end the game early. Yeah. If you don't, you just. You alchemist could have been a specter, anti mage, any yeah. hero, and I feel but like, like specter, you'd be like so much less farm, you know. But specter, you could be fighting and doing a lot yeah, more. You, you could have so much more involvement for your team. Yeah, you would have crushed them a lot more in team fights. It's just like an insurance policy. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's still like if if you have a draw lineup and you can't. You know, take take T twos even like all the T's I, I would short. say that the alchemist actually puts you on a much shorter time frame to end the game. It was very much that one Roche fight. They're gonna bring down Chrissy. Nope, not quite. They haven't got the damage. They just will keep him alive that for that second fight. And Gyro now on the front line brought down lots of minus armor coming out from the fanatic side at this point. And TNC see, just trying to bring down Sanking, which they can't even do. Oh, okay, Queen of Pain will help that. And Sam H has blinked forward in aggressively. DJ chasing and. That's uh, not a good trade for Queen of Pain, who likely will be forced to buy back. Well, it looks like Mushi hits really hard, even though he doesn't really have any damage items. I think Weave was maybe used offensively, but even without the Weave, it's Acid as well as Minor Summer from SF. Man, they barely took any damage. That's a Sonic Wave down, without Ag Scepter. It's a second lane of Rax and probably the game. So round two, likely to end with Fnatic getting a 2-0 win. Mushi gonna go down. No grave available. They, oh. but they can't be happy with the TV of so It was not clean victories. It was very shaky. You uh, think game one was? They had a. I mean, we talked about their draft lot being weak in game one, one but they they played game one but really well. But the draft was not really good. Though. Are they yeah. gonna Are they gonna look back? Do, do you think a team like that is gonna look at game one and think we had a bad draft? Because they, I mean, from their, they should, though, they from their perspective, it's like we won the game. Maybe it, they may say like our draft was, we didn't out. They, they probably think they didn't outdraft them. They it wasn't them. ideal, but they no, still won. Not, they, it was not ideal. They they played super well given the draft that they get were given. Yeah, I think because they were just better. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but yeah, it, which is fine. But game two, I think that they actually like very shaky. Lost it. Very shaky. Yeah. I didn't Ohio like had a really bad. I mean, Ohio net Mushi all had pretty. I think Chrissy was like the one player had a pretty solid yeah, game. Chrissy was pretty good. Everyone else had weaknesses. It and very much that one Roche fight turned things. They didn't like coordinate anything like very well at all. It was just like this sinking blink in the Requiem. That's the only sort of sign of teamwork that I saw from them the whole game. Yeah, yeah and the decision they were making around where Sanking was giving up his priority to farm. Yes. Should, he was like, you feel that he was really desperate. He was pushing it a lot to yeah. try and get a kill. I feel like if, if it were against a better team, they could have just grouped up and pushed and if Sand King were forced to fight he would die over and over again if they didn't they would lose like three towers and they they never put Fnatic in that position yeah. a lot of it came I think also from Sam having a great game on the co-op which maybe threw them off a little bit yeah it was also because that we talked about the brute didn't, he didn't kill the runes like 
because yeah. Corp he got that haste rune and he rotated and he killed the top lane if he didn't get that rune he probably he couldn't have done that mm-hmm. so th- a lot of things would have been different so okay. all well, these small little details up next we have got doo 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 doo. Mineski versus Open, which is I think Space Creators so Mineski versus Space Creators Spack Creators Space Creators get it's some Aussie Dota come on Space Creators it's Spack they don't have the first second E or first E according to who according to the Frankfurt Do- Major Dota page <laughs> well that, that the letter E that's missing is off creating space for yeah. everyone you know? I suppose so I mean, that's how I see they it. They actually did create a space. It's <laughs> the space in the yeah, where yeah. there should be an E is empty. Space created. So it's what starting in. 20 Couldn't minutes? they just do space underscore created? And it would have been. Is the it same starting thing? in twenty minutes? It's scheduled to start in twenty minutes. I don't know if they'll move series forward if stuff ends early. I'm not not sure of the. And then EU's coming policy. up soon. Yep, we'll have Alliance versus Stack starting in three hours time. So we'll be doing. Mineski versus Space Creators and jumping over to EU, maybe is, watching a is bit. Is Fnatic more. still our favorites for this group? Um, I could see one, two, one, two, three beating them, but hmm. yeah. yeah. Some of the, when we talk, uh, let's say to go back to what Winter and I talked about having inside info. Fnatic actually lost two zero earlier today to MVP Phoenix, so they've lost two zero to MVP Phoenix. They did badly at ESL one, which is where the team is maybe looking a bit shaky. And then we see games like this where they played kind of poorly. Yeah, but I mean they're opponents. Aren't very good. To me, Fnatic... Like, who, who's going to beat them in yeah. this group? They're one favored one, to two, win three. this group, but they're not favored to win the qu- overall qualifier as much anymore. You I think. Sure? Well, maybe, but I feel like Mineski and MVP are uh, both very close to them. I, I think before this, probably they were hot favorites. They are still yeah. favorites now, but... Yeah, I, I think I, as, I didn't mean not word as, it yeah. too strongly. Not as, not as, like... They're slight favorites now instead yeah, of heavy favorites. favorites. Before that was heavy favorites, yeah. yeah. They've definitely fallen off with some of their recent results and proven that they're a bit shaky. The drafts, though, it's always... 